So in this part, we'll talk about adversarial online learning. And in particular, we'll, I will talk about the basic framework and uh, I will talk about what, uh, what are our goals. So as before, this uh, set of lecture series is supported in part by NSF award CCF 1749864. Okay, so in online learn in adversarial online learning, as input, we receive a finite action set A. Uh, for the purpose of this uh, series, let's call them 1 through K. So, uh, and then you're given a payoff range. So you're given a payoff range, which we'll assume lies between 0 and 1. And you're given the time horizon T. And all these things are known a priori. So later we'll see when we can relax these things. But for now, you're given all these and known before the start. So the Procedure proceeds as follows. In each time step t, the adversary chooses a payoff vector ft, which lies in 0 to the 0, 1 to the k. So for each action, the adversary chooses a payoff. And simultaneously, the algorithm chooses a distribution pt over a. So it chooses a distribution over the set of actions. And then uh, once the algorithm produce, produces its distribution, we will sample an action at. Uh, independently from everything else from this uh, distribution pt and then we will give the payoff pt of at to the algorithm so the algorithm receives this payoff pt of at and then we have to give some feedback so we consider two kinds of feedback so in the full feedback model the algorithm is shown the entire uh, the, the entire vector ft so it's shown the entire vector ft which the adversary chose so the algorithm knows what would have happened if you had chosen some other action. And in the harder banded feedback, the algorithm only sees pt of at. So it doesn't see, uh, sorry, ft of at. So it doesn't see what would have happened if it would have chosen a different action. So this is the setting we'll be working with. So what is our goal? The goal of the algorithm is to design uh, an online system, possibly adaptive to uh, the inputs and randomized such that the total payoff it receives which is the sum over uh, all the time steps ft of the chosen action at is maximized so you want to maximize the total uh, payoff and what is the benchmark we consider so what are we competing against so we compete against the best action in hindsight that is if the entire set of vectors f1 f2 up till ft was known a priori then if I just stuck with one action, what is the best total reward I can get? So we are competing against an algorithm in hindsight. And our measure or measure of how good we are doing is called regret. So regret, which is R of T, is defined as what is the total pay of the optimal algorithm we'll get, which will be called opt henceforth minus this total pay of the, your algorithm got. So it's the difference between the total total payoff the optimal algorithm gets minus the total payoff you get. And this is commonly called regret. So going back to this framework, uh, here the uh, we can constrain the power of adversary. So the adversary could either be uh, adaptive to the previous actions. So the, ad adap the adversary can see the actions a1, a2, up to t minus 1 before it chooses the payoff ft but it cannot see the randomness used by the algorithm. So this, this is commonly called the adaptive adversary framework. And the slightly weaker framework is called the oblivious adversary framework. In the oblivious adversary framework, what we have is that the adversary has to choose all the payoff functions a priori. So it has to choose all the functions a priori and then it has to work against such an adversary. So we'll make this distinction, we'll go back and forth between what kind of adversary we're using throughout the lecture series.